let's talk about weight loss. If you don't know me, I am a pigeon rescue man. I rescue pigeons from the street and bring them back to perfect health. Wild pigeons, tame pigeons, let them go. I love pigeons because they are a natural intrusion in today's concrete world. Let's talk about weight gain, naturally thin. Drew and here, Natasha, you guys are naturally thin. You can't get fat, you can't gain weight. He's slow me here, Natasha just jogging across the street because the cars are coming. Is, nat- is Natasha naturally thin? All right, is she naturally thin? She's naturally tall, but she's not naturally thin. All right, I mean, that's, that's a bit of a lie. Everyone, everyone is naturally thin. Okay, we're all designed to be thin, but in terms of musculature, she doesn't have naturally high androgen levels. She doesn't have high androgen receptors, especially in her lower limbs. Same with me. So we are naturally low muscular, you could say, but everybody's naturally thin. Okay, your muscle definition, etc., and your height, that's genetic. That's that's more natural. Is that that posture change there? Right, so posture is everything. A lot of girls don't take advantage of posture. They just they roll their their pelvis around and they give themselves a paunch. All right, so understand your pelvic rotation and maximize that for aesthetic enhancements naturally. <laughs> People are like, I want to lose weight, and it's like, dude, just rotate your pelvis. Stop sticking your gut out. Anyway, let's talk about it here. So you can see this is me. This is me naturally. I'm off steroids in this video here. Uh, full natty bra. I would I would uh, pass most drug tests in this video. Unless you do the full long-term carbon isotope ratio test, it might ping, ping, uh, might be glowing. So you can see, I am just, you know, I'm a lean, slim dude. I, I wouldn't look out of place in an elite marathon. I wouldn't look out of place in the Tour de France. Maybe my age would, but my, if you chop off my head, my physique would be like, this guy's ready for the Tour de France. He looks like a professional soccer player. He looks like a professional kickboxer. He looks like a professional crackhead <laughs> in Manchester or whatever. Like, so. This is decades, decades and decades of eating high sugar, low fat. Uh, I'm a low fat eater. There's times where I'm very lean and I'm getting too lean, so I eat more fat, more healthy fats, avocados, things like that. They help the store body fat. If If you're too skinny, people, if you're too lean, if your body fat's too low, please eat avocados, all right? Get some avocados and get some vegan Krispy Kreme donuts. Just get the fats in, okay? Get your plant fats in. It'll help you restore your body fat levels are getting too lean. But in terms of naturally thin, naturally lean, everyone everyone is naturally designed to have a reasonably light body mass index of a between 18 to 21. All right? Maybe you're a super muscular person genetically, and then you're going to have a higher BMI, more like 20, 21. But maybe you're like a, a low androgen receptor body type, low androgens, and you will have a, you can be like an 18 BMI and be thriving on that. But if you're a high androgen person, more estrogen, more testosterone, more progesterone, then genetically, then yeah, you're going to have a higher BMI and you will suffer at an 18 BMI. For me, I can thrive at 18 BMI, 19 BMI, and so can Natasha, because genetically we are low androgens, we are more lower estrogen levels. Okay. That's just, that's just our genetic type, and we thrive on that. Okay, so then our sports would be marathon running, cycling, you know, kickboxing. The the people who have high androgens naturally, genetically, they do best in things like wrestling and shot put, and you know, what I mean, like you ain't gonna see me at shot put at twelve years of age, and Natasha as well. Right, we're more like long jumpers, high jumpers. So you have some people out there. You remember those kids at school? They were twelve back in the 80s and 70s and 90s and stuff, and, and they weren't in any steroids or nothing, but they were just more muscular. They just had natural strength because they have more androgen receptors. They have higher androgen levels. That's the difference there. So everybody's naturally designed to naturally have naturally low levels of body fat, but the amount of muscle you have is genetic, unless you're using anabolics, which a lot of people are these days, you know, which I've used uh, for over nine years. And so that's the deal, okay? It's just like the cat on my shoulder is naturally a little white cat with a bit of tabby in him. Anyway, that's the deal. There's, everybody's designed to be slim, okay? Some people have more muscle than others, but everyone's designed to be slim. So next time someone says, oh, you're just naturally skinny, that's such a big myth, all right? Everybody is designed to have you know, low body fat. Not Shreddy Kruger, 
but slim. All right, Every, here we go. Everybody's designed to be slim. Now, some people are going to be more muscular slim, and some people are going to be more slim slim. That's just how it is.